And we are breaking into Sunday morning futures with breaking news. Hello, everyone. I'm Arthel Neville. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is dropping out of the Republican presidential primary race less than 48 hours before the polls open in New Hampshire. It is now a two-person race between former President Donald Trump and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. Now, this is a stunning turn of events for DeSantis, who was seen as the strongest challenger to Trump when he first launched his campaign. DeSantis finished nearly 30 points behind Trump in the Iowa caucuses and is polling a distant third place in New Hampshire. Now, he had planned to focus on the South Carolina primary next month, but said he would not continue to run if he did not see a path forward. And uh, we had spoken earlier with Carl Rove on Fox News, and uh, we were looking at a poll of undeclared voters in New Hampshire in the Republican primary there. And Trump had 41 percent. Haley had 49 percent. And DeSantis only had 4 percent of the confidence, if you will, from those undeclared voters in New Hampshire. So, again, it is all about Nikki Haley and Donald Trump. Now, the question is, we're waiting to hear, I'm sure, from uh, the former from, from Governor DeSantis at some point. Uh, it will be interesting to see if he is going to give a full-throated throated endorsement to President Trump. And uh, as we know, uh, Senator Tim Scott did that last night, and it was quite full-throated. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has a 19 percent lead over Nikki Haley with Trump. Now he has 55 percent support in New Hampshire versus Haley's with 36 percent. And the question is, is Trump doing everything right, or is Nikki Haley doing something wrong, or is it just too soon to find any answer to those questions? Because it, the race, as you see, is uh, now taking a full turn, with Ron DeSantis officially dropping out of the 2024 race. And he, in fact, did endorse President, the former President Trump. It will be interesting to see the um, if, in fact, Trump chooses, if he wants it, DeSantis as his running mate. It seems that Tim Scott did not say no to that offer, if it were to come, when he gave that full-throated endorsement of the former president last night ahead of the South Carolina primary. Now, of course, speaking of South Carolina, this is going to make this quite interesting. You saw the former president, Trump, flanked by many South Carolina leading lawmakers there in New Hampshire, as uh, the former president is trying to slow down any momentum Nikki Haley might have in her home state of South Carolina. But back to New Hampshire, we also had a poll earlier on Fox News Live of 500 likely New Hampshire voters. They were asked, who would be your second choice? And today, 32 percent picked DeSantis. Yesterday, 34 percent said DeSantis. And Friday, 37 percent said DeSantis would be their second choice. And today, 10 percent said Haley would be their second choice. And yesterday and Friday, 7 percent picked Haley. Someone else with 17.6 average over the last three days. But again, the big news right now is it is officially a two-horse race on the Republican side, with DeSantis suspending his 2024 campaign and endorsing the former president. And, Eric, it's not a big surprise, but it definitely is big news ahead of the New Hampshire primary. That is, Arthur. Eric Sean here in New York uh, also. Uh, it is just a huge victory, potentially, for former President Trump with the vanquishing of Ron DeSantis uh, in this race, as you said, leaving it now basically down to a Trump-Haley race. 
So we'll have to see what happens on Tuesday at the New Hampshire primary. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.